Hey, what is up, travel lovers? It's your boy, Sean, from the Sean Experiment, and we got a lot to talk about today around cruising and cruise news. Let's talk about some cancellations, yeah, overseas, some here, some brand new cruise lines, Margaritaville canceling cruises, pushing it back, and also, what's a Margaritaville cruise all about? And cruising with no vaccine? Is this going to happen? And if so, what the old director of the uh, FDA has to say about it. Let's get into it. All right, welcome back to the show. I'm just gonna take one second real quick to invite you to subscribe. If you'd like to stay up to date on cruise and travel news, see some cool and fun videos, hit the subscribe button. Bing! That's the sound it makes, I think, if you got a cool computer. <laughs> and uh, like the video to show some love. We really, really appreciate it, and it helps us keep making videos. So let's get into some cancellations. Now, it's been a while since we talked about cancellations, mainly because COVID sort of ended. I, I don't know. Did it end, or did just people stop talking about it and move on to something different? I don't know, but... Uh, it's trying to come back a little bit, but it seems as if, uh, you know, us here in Florida, at least, it never really started, I guess. But um, around the United States, it is starting to go away. Now, uh, places like Philadelphia just reinstated a mask mandate, so it's coming back here and there, some places more free than others. But we seem to forget about overseas and other countries and sort of how it's affecting them. Uh, well, one cruise line, Celebrity Cruises, uh, which is based out of Miami, uh, does have cruises all over the world. One of those places is in Asia, which it has canceled for the entire season. The season means basically starting in the fall of this year, 2022, rolling into the first few months of 2023, and none of those cruises, at least for celebrity, will be happening at all. Uh, basically, the quote said something along the lines of, due to the uncertainty of uh, COVID in that region, uh, we've just decided it's best to redeploy. So they will basically be bringing uh, their ship from uh, Asia. There was about 19 sailings going on during that time frame, uh, and those are no more. Finit, gone. And they'll be bringing it back to the States, to the West Coast, moving some ships around, and they will use the ship. Now, they have to, right? I mean, they got to make money on the ship. They can't just sit it over in Asia and go, maybe it'll be okay. So I understand the decision uh, does suck for the people who were on those trips. Uh, I, I definitely want to go on an Asia cruise, never been. Uh, but after doing some research, I'm in. Just not on Celebrity and not this season. So maybe sometime soon. All right, so the next set of cancellations comes from a cruise line that I didn't even know existed. I know I failed you all. I have not uh, kept you up to date on every inch of cruising news around the world, but this one's right here in my own backyard in Florida. So if you've been around for a while, the Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line uh, has been around for a long time, I don't know, 20, 30 years. Uh, they are really famous for what we would call like a booze cruise, right? It's a three-day, I love how they call it a three-day, it's a two-night. Basically, let's say like you leave on Tuesday at, you know, four o'clock in the afternoon, you're there Tuesday night, you're there Wednesday at one stop in the Bahamas, and then you're home on Thursday. So it's a very, very short uh, taster. It's just someone who maybe doesn't have a lot of vacation time, wants to get out and about. Well, they sold to Margaritaville. Yeah, so Margaritaville at sea. They have their own cruise line now. So they sunk millions of dollars into the ships. Uh, and, and, and I guess they're really nice now. They have, they have a, it's five o'clock somewhere bar and uh, the, port, the port of indecision, or, you know, and all these cool new like steakhouses and restaurants. So uh, I'm actually kind of excited. It would be cool to go check it out. Uh, I can tell you uh, ballpark, uh, the range from about, you know, 169, 179 up to about maybe 229, 239 in that range for most dates uh, for a two night cruise. I'm not a big fan of everything they're doing. Uh, so, and again, never been on it because they canceled the first seven cruises. Now, 
seven cruises at two nights apiece, only a couple weeks. They were supposed to take their first cruise on April the 30th, and they have moved it to what they're just calling mid-May. So I assume, you know, it's very close to being ready, but not 100% being ready. So it uh, would be cool. Uh, now, for a couple hundred dollars, I mean, you're talking, you know, $200 base price, then you're going to add taxes and fees and et cetera. Right now, with the way cruise deals are going, I mean, you can go on like a carnival for, I don't know, the same for a week. <laughs> it seems like maybe not everywhere, but again, you're in Florida and you can just pop right over. That's the place to be. So the price point's not like right there for me just yet. Now, the experience may be something that's amazing. So, of course, the ship has not uh, sailed yet, so no one's been on it. I'd love to go on it and check it out and give it a real honest opinion myself. Maybe we will one day. But from just reading about it and looking at pictures and things, it looks nice. It looks cool. It's a smaller ship. It's not going to be one of your huge ships, of course, for a two-nighter. It doesn't need to be. 658 cabins aboard uh, the ship. Again, lots of new restaurants and bars. But the one thing is, it's a party boat, right? Or it's supposed to be a booze cruise. Looking at their drink packages, they suck. I'm, just, I'm so confused on why they are set up this way, but... Uh, to give you a for instance, they only really have one like alcoholic drink package. Uh, that's $99, and it gets you 10 drinks. I, yeah, I, I'm done. That's the end of my statement. $99, 10 drinks. It's a saving of 25%. Wow. Wow. Um, so at about $50 a day, um, now I know, you know a lot of cruise lines have raised their prices and they're you know, maybe in the 60s now, but I mean, for a few more dollars, you're getting either unlimited drinks or like on Carnival, 15 drinks, uh, and most of the lines unlimited drinks for $10, $15 more a day, and you're getting 10 total drinks for that? Uh, Jimmy, Buffett, I'm disappointed in you if you have anything to do with this cruise line at all, I don't even know. But, uh, you know, then of course they have like the soda package, um, their their non-alcoholic package, which would include like you know pina coladas or strawberry daiquiris, is ninety dollars. What? I just, I just I don't understand that so much. So I think they're gonna try and probably kind of nickel and dime you to death on on the drinks and everything else because it's so short, right? Um, maybe it'll be cool. Uh, maybe it'll be great. You know I, I don't know. Maybe this is appealing to the Jimmy Buffett lovers. Uh, maybe it's appealing to sort of that Margaritaville feel, um, very keys, you know, very close to uh, Florida where they launch. And uh, I don't know. We'll see. So uh, the, the jury is out on them for now. Uh, but, you know, hopefully it's going to be cool. Are you interested in going on a Margaritaville? Were you on one of the first seven uh, that got canceled? Are you planning on going? Tell me about it. Tell me why you're going. What are you looking forward to? All right, moving into our final story of the day. When are non-vaccinated people going to be allowed to cruise? I don't know. You don't know. But a few high-ranking officials say they may know the answer to this. Now, uh, of course, this is not set in stone. We know that most cruise lines, almost every cruise line, has said they will follow the CDC's recommendations. Now, uh, they are not required to. These are all voluntary. They're just saying, we'll do it. We'll fall in line, right? For whatever reason, maybe it's just easier for them to you know, do that and make their own decisions or not be the bad guy, good cop, bad cop kind of thing. Uh, but the, the former head of the FDA, uh, Dr. Scott Gobleib, I think I said that right, came out uh, and, and was interviewed by TheStreet.com uh, and was uh, talking about when he believes that they will allow unvaccinated or non-vaccinated adults uh, to cruise. And when asked that question, he basically said he believes it's going to be probably next spring. So we're looking at another year. Now, it doesn't surprise me because I remember at the beginning of COVID, I said, oh, what are they going to do? Shut the whole world down? I literally said this and am stupid because it's exactly what they did. Uh, and I said, oh, so this will last a few weeks, you know, 14 days to flatten the curve or whatever the message was back then. And then I remember it was like a month and two and three, and it was like six months, and I go, this is insane. By the end of the year, though, no way. And then by the end of that year and the end of the next year, and nuts. We're, we're over two years later and still going through with it. So what's another year at this point, right? 
Uh, yeah, so he said, uh, basically, we know that COVID tends to thrive in the colder months. So they say, even though we saw a spike in an outbreak during the summer, I think last year, year before, whatever. So it does what it wants to do. But generally speaking, in the colder months, it does spike. So his opinion on that is that the CDC and other health you know, experts and organizations will wait to see what it does through the fall and through the winter and then make their decision after that. So we're looking at probably, he thinks, at least next spring before cruise lines may consider allowing you to cruise without a vaccination. Yeah, so I know that, you know, we, we cruise a lot, so obviously the cat's out the bag, we're vaccinated, right? Uh, I won't get into the politics of why and when and how and that we didn't want to at first and then we did it and it's kind of because of cruising and whatever. Uh, but yeah, we are, right? But we've invited lots of, you know, friends and family to say, hey, let's go on this cruise. The deals are insane right now. And they go, yeah, yeah, we're in. And they go, you're vaccinated, right? And they go, oh. So I can tell you personally, it has not necessarily stopped me from going on cruises, but it's gotten in the way of, you know, maybe kids. It's gotten in the way of friends. It's gotten in the way of family. So it's impacted me. So I'd love to see unvaccinated cruises come back before next spring. But if it's next spring, it's next spring. But what are your thoughts on that? Do you wish that unvaccinated cruising would happen now? Do you think next spring is far, far away, too far away, or not far enough away? Share your thoughts, share your comments, and uh, let me know how you feel about that. And let me know if you're going on Margaritaville. Maybe we'll go and have a margarita on the ship. <laughs> that was stupid. Anyway, you guys have an amazing day. Thanks for watching. See you later. Peace.